The 50th anniversary of hip hop and one rapper who changed the game. ABC's Tim Pulliam has the story. Tupac's career was short. It only spanned five years, but his music has stood the test of time. We caught up with the actress in one of his most popular videos. Against the backdrop of Seattle grunge and reinvented rock stars. 1991 was a breakout year for rapper Tupac Shakur, releasing his debut, Tupacalypse, the album's first single, telling a gut-wrenching story. Brenda. Brenda's Got a Baby, Tupac wrote after reading a news article describing a 12-year-old in Oakland giving birth to a child she abandons. Brenda living her life on the streets. That's not our problem, that's up to Brenda's family. Well, let me show you how it affects our whole community. More than three decades later, as hip-hop reflects on its 50th anniversary, Tupac's track remains a moving symbol in how systemic trauma and tragedy can spread beyond the hood. When you see that video or somebody look at it again today, you understand that, man, I experienced that. Oh, my niece just experienced that. Ethel Love is part of the song's lasting impact, playing Brenda in the black and white music video. What was it like working with Tupac at that time? Tupac was a friend of mine and my brother, so it was easy because we all, you know, hung around each other and, you know, talk with each other. Ethel, now a 49-year-old mother of three, at the time of filming, was 17. It was like natural, because it was still part of me, because I already done the majority of those things, especially the part of being a mother and, and bringing um, that child, you know, to birth. 1992, Brenda's Got a Baby becomes a top 10 hit, reaching number three on Billboard's rap charts, turning Ethel Love into a local celebrity. We didn't know that Tupac was going to explode so big like that. We didn't even know that video was going to explode. Tupac's debut boldly taking on other social issues, the single Trapped, addressing police brutality. I think Tupac, first and foremost, was about Black empowerment. Um, I think he also was about uplifting Black women. Dear mama. But he also sometimes was about not uplifting Black women. The track list becoming a cause for concern. Former Vice President Dan Quayle and civil rights activist C. Dolores Tucker mounting campaigns against Tupac's music, associating it with gangster rap. Why was his music often scrutinized, particularly by politicians and music critics? Tupac didn't hold any punches. And honestly, anyone who had something to say about the music that he made he addressed on wax. <laughs> and he was probably one of the first, you know, rappers to really do that and to be very unfiltered and unafraid. Ethel Love still listens to Brenda's Got a Baby. She lives in Atlanta with her four grandkids. She also owns her own childcare business where she provides support to pregnant women. Tim Pulliam, ABC News, Los Angeles. A big thanks to Tim yeah. Pulliam for bringing us that story. We're big fans of hip hop around here. You're a big fan of Tupac. Absolutely. Yeah, Tupac. West Coast. I'm from, from, from the Bay Area too. He was such like a like a big part of like my growing up. Not that like I was young at the time or yeah. that young, but um, to see the impact that his music is still having now, it's really incredible. And behind the scenes, Whit likes to drop a few Tupac lyrics here, here and yeah. there. He oh, still yeah. has ambitions as a rider. <laughs> yeah, only the G-rated ones, of course. Right, and we yes, will be course. celebrating the 50th anniversary of hip hop all week long on GMA with special guests and performances. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.